Hey y'all, it's Miss Virginia History with Mrs. B. And truthfully, I'm not sure if there's much cooler things in the world than being on the top of Snowshoe Mountain and looking out across the Allegheny Mountains there in Northern Pocahontas County. It is a spectacular view because you're 4,848 feet above sea level and almost to the highest point in the whole state of West Virginia when you're up on that mountain. And so Northern Pocahontas County has so many things to offer. It is the home of the National Quiet Zone because of Green Bank National Observatory. And so you can go and disconnect. Not only disconnect from your phone, but also disconnect from the internet entirely. And you know, if you're there, you can stop by Green Bank tour the Science Center, take a tour of Green Bank, which is home of the largest movable radio telescope on planet Earth. And just, just chill. Just take that Pocahontas chill. There's something about being up there and knowing that your technology that doesn't work, just that makes you relax. Um, other things that you can do in Pocahontas County include uh, taking a train on Cass Scenic Railroad and visiting the company store, which has a great gift shop and restaurant. And um, they just reopened their Greenbrier tour, a uh, Greenbrier River tour in 2023. We got to ride on the inaugural Greenbrier River tour, but that is a great day trip if you go from Cass to, to Durban and then back and you get to just enjoy and sit back and enjoy that beautiful scenery out your window. Um, another thing that the railroad offers is a castaway caboose overnight where you they take you on a train and drop you off in the middle of nowhere and you stay for a few days in a fully loaded caboose with electric water and all the amenities and you just really get to even disconnect further because you don't have Wi-Fi. So I love Northern Pocahontas County. Yeah, the roads are a little curvy and a mountainous, but stay tuned and Jack is gonna tell you more about all the amazing things that Northern Pocahontas County, including Snowshoe, Durban, Green Bank, and other places in that part of the world have to offer. Hi, I'm Jack, and I'm gonna to talk to you about weekend trips you can do in West Virginia, and specifically in uh, Snowshoe or Northern Pocahontas County. So the first place you can go for hotels will be the Cass Scenic Railroad Historic Houses. And they're like relatively in the middle priced, around $190 a night for 40, that fits four to six people. And another one is uh, the Snowshoe Ski Resort Hotels. And they're like 15 different ones, but they're all really expensive because they're at a ski resort and it's around $200 a night, but they can go up to like 800 or something, which is really high. And then you can also go to the Silver Creek Hotel, which is like right near the slopes, which I've been to is really, really cool. And it's around 200 a night also. And then another place you can go is uh, just like an Airbnb or someone's house that they rent out for the weekend, which is about 150 a night. That fits four to six people. Now, places you can eat, you can go to Cheat Mountain Pizza, which is at Snowshoe. It's around middle price, around $17 a person. And it has like a regular, it's a regular pizza restaurant with like sandwiches, subs, wings, and salads. And then next, uh, you can go to the Raven Grill Golf Club restaurant. And it's like, it's a bit, pricey around $30 a person and it has a uh, breakfast and lunch but it mostly has sandwiches and soups another you can go there's a coffee place called snowshoe coffee it's like right on the foot of the mountain and it's like basically a Starbucks if it wasn't a chain and there's also like a ski and snowboard rental place right there so if you want to go skiing there too you can just pick them up there and next is the Foxfire Grill, which is kind of expensive, around fifty to sixty dollars a person. But it's a steak, it's a, but it's a steakhouse, so steak. <laughs> and next we have uh, the Flume Shack, which is is actually on the slopes, where you can get uh, bratwurst and other like refreshment drinks. And it's kind of 
kind of low price, around $15 for a person. And then next is the barbecue shack. It's like right near the coffee shop I just mentioned. And it's pretty low price, around $13 to $15 a person. And it has barbecue, chicken, pork, cow, and then along with sides of mac and cheese, potatoes, and green beans. And the things you can do there, you can obviously go to the ski resort of Snowshoe and Silver Creek. And Snowshoe is like the bigger one, the bigger and better one, and Silver Creek's the more smaller one, but they're both really good. And those staff are really amazing there. And next you can go uh, golfing at the Raven Golf Club. And it's like typical place with 18 holes, but it's like deemed one of the most unique courses in the country because of just the terrain and everything around it. And next you can go to the Cass Scenic Railroad State Park where you can go like on the railroad and visit a company town and there's multiple different tours. There are three different tours that are around four to five hours. Uh, the most popular one, which goes near a waterfall. And then there's a new one that goes through the countryside. And then, then there's another one that's like kind of short, three to four hours not three, one to two hours but it's also like twenty dollars cheaper the longer ones are around eighty to eighty five dollars per person and the shorter ones like sixty to sixty five another thing you can do while you're there is visit the ghost town of spruce there are two ways to get there either you can take the cast train but it's only like a special time event of the year or you can just walk there along the tracks, which that's what I've done. And it's like, it's probably like maybe a 35, 40 minute walk there, but it's really cool. It's like the highest and coldest town, incorporated town of East Mississippi River. And it's just really nice to see what it used to look like there. Cause the only way you could get there is through train back when it was incorporated. And then the last thing you can really do there is the Green Bank Observatory, which they have tours every day between 9.30 and 5.30. And it's around $10 per person and kids under four getting for free. And then unique events and other stuff that happen. There's the Cast Parade of Seam, which is a free parade anyone can go to at the Cast Scenic Railroad State Park. And it's just, you get to see all the trains drive by. And it's this really cool thing to go to. And then next you can go to the Treasure on the Mountain, which is at Snowshoe. And it's basically a place where you can try out multiple different foods from different places. And there's a really big raffle at the end. And the guest passes for that are around $40. And then the raffle passes, which includes what the guest pass has. And also raffle tickets is $150. And then also you can like see some like local races at snowshoes, either at snowshoe, either like skiing, uh, mountain biking, or like ATV racing. And they they happen all year round. And then also there's the spruce tour I mentioned earlier with the with the cast train company. It's on four to five hours, and it's about eighty five dollars a person. Thanks y'all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to West Virginia History with Mrs. B on both Facebook and YouTube.